Hi my daisies, welcome to my channel. Today it's gonna be another shower routine. I feel like I owe you a shower routine, so your hands is here and I'm ready to go. If this is your first time seeing my face, please remember to hit the subscribe button. It's our road to 500. Yeah, just 500. I was about to say 500,000. I'm like, are they crazy? Are they mad? Okay, I just wanted to show you guys the new products that I will be incorporating on the shower routine. So it's just basic products that I got from my nearest pharmacy store, international, you can call it drugstore. So firstly, we have the Senex. So the Senex, it's going to be our shower gel today. I just felt like my skin has been a little bit dry. I don't know why. I don't know. I just feel like, like I feel it when there's something wrong with my skin and I feel it when it feels dry so i decided to go with senex it's about 79 rand this is the demo moisturizing biodem protection so i chose it because it's moisturizing it enhances and i used to use it when i was younger it hydrates and softens so it's for normal and dry skin so if you have oily skin i don't think this would be perfect for you but i've been using it for a week now and <laughs> the skin has been skinning the skin has been skinning so the star of the show it's gonna be this beautiful scrub from Awari I worry so this is an African product so it's organic African baobab renewing body scrub so my skin needs a little bit of a renew I've been out in the Sun it's been summer I've been going to the beach I've been having a lot of beach days even if it's not just going to the beach I've been jogging I've been in the Sun so I feel like we're moving into winter we already in autumn so we're moving into winter so I feel like like this is a renewing I just need to scrub off any dirt any um any dullness any darkness so let's bring on the shine with this i worry body scrub i think this is about is it 32 or 50 something rand it's around there the price range is not pretty high it's very affordable hence i chose it i haven't used it yet i was just waiting for this video so basically how it's packaged it's basically normal packaging and then it's secured inside as you can see i haven't touched it yet we will talk about it once we get into the shower my babes so what i have on today as i told you my skin has been feeling a little bit dry and i feel like i needed some moisture in a way so I went with the Vaseline intensive care I've used this before and this is amazing I've actually learned a new way how to harness um, its power and its scent it smells so fresh it's not it's not overpowering I've been using it so I'm not sure if you can see it based on the color so it's it's fresh for me it's giving fresh it kind of smells like hair cream but they're not that overpowering hair cream it's fresh um i'll tell you guys when we get to the part like to the lotioning part so basically i'm not going to be doing much with my skin i'm going to be applying this on a slightly scented perfume so that i can smell good the whole day to harness its scent and its power make sure not to dry your skin after the shower just literally do not try and dry it off you can just dry your feet while your skin is dripping wet just apply it onto your body layer it like layer it take your time it's gonna seem messy at first but you're gonna get used to it let me tell you it's gonna be so amazing so i just wanted to talk about this two new products that i've um incorporated into this shower routine that we will be doing today i feel like it's moving on to a new season shower routine and i owe you guys a slow distressing you know a slow um you know and a shower routine like basically shower routine to you my babies because i know a lot of you love this self-care this is your local self-care queen let's move on to the shower hold on before we move i'm just going to tell you something i'm not going to be focusing on the face i'm going to do a specific video just focusing on the face skin care because the skin has been skinny your girl has been looking younger like younger and younger because i bought some new skincare and i'm loving it i'm loving it i'm loving this brand i'm totally in love like i'm literally i'm i'm literally in love with this brand so guys let's move on to the shower i don't want to waste any of your time i'm going to be using my shower gel with the loofah 
my loofah is like. I bought a pack of loofah. I've bought it from Micro. They're not the best quality loofahs. So if you want a good loofah, go to your discount, go to your clicks, and you'll have to pay obviously a steeper price. But then I happened to get a pack for lesser and I got the pack. But I do regret it because the intensity of the loofah doesn't give me the enough of momentum and scrap that i'm looking for i'm gonna stop talking because you know me once i start talking i'm gonna talk let's move on to the shower i will be voice overing anything that's needed while i'm showering so asbange asbange so i'm in the shower Firstly, what I do, I prep my skin. I just rinse it with water, get it wet so that um, it can activate the products that I'm about to use. So I'm using the Sanex shower gel. This is the demo moisturizing one because I told you guys why. This is so amazing. It smells like clean soap. It reminds me of the Dolce & Gabbana. Um, blue so it's just clean it smells fresh it's nothing it's not highly scented so if you have sensitive skin or you have skin that react easily to um, perfume stuff this could be the shower gel for you because it is dermatologically tested as you can see it forms up right away so that's a yay for me I like something that's quick it just saves me money so that I don't keep buying more shower gels so I start with my armpits as always because like that's where I secrete the most sweat and I feel like that's where the stink stays up. So I start with my arms, I go with my elbows, I just scrub all over, just like scrubbing, scrubbing with my loofah. This loofah is pathetic by the way. <laughs> So what you're seeing right now, what you're seeing right now, it's me uh, scrubbing my whole body. I'm just preparing my body for the body mask slash scrub that I bought from iWorry. So I just scrub, make sure that I'm clean everywhere and my skin is ready to receive all the goodness. I mean like all the yumminess of the scrub. Nothing beats like scrubbing yourself in the shower gel. I heard something that um, lonely people take longer showers so that they can feel the warmth that they are missing um, from having somebody like in their lives. So I don't know if I classify as lonely, but I love taking long showers. <laughs> So um, just because for video purposes, I'm going to scrub like I scrubbed on the top and I'm already done with the top. So now I'm scrubbing on the bottom. I actually take more time scrubbing my legs because that's, um, I usually show my legs most of the time. When I'm dressed, it's either my chest or my legs or both. So the legs are always like out. So I give it more time because I feel like I, I, I like my legs, I will grab more dust onto my legs and um like my knees tend to pigment and also at the back of my knees i also give it a little bit of attention and also underneath my bum like underneath my butt cheeks so i feel like i i scrub a lot there to just get rid of any bums any uh, pimples or any strawberry legs that might try to develop there um i just give my legs extra attention i don't know why but i've always tend to and yeah just seeing me scrubbing and then rinsing off the scrub before we go on to the mask and also i will show you guys that i'll also be scrubbing my feet so pretty feet gang this is for you we love we love 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 keeping our feet clean So I give a lot of attention um, when I scrub my feet um, in between my toes, um, at the bottom of my foot and then after I'm done I just go in I'm like I'm just emphasizing the scrub on my knees because I would like to keep my knees smooth lightly and like darkish lightest brown like the way they are because like I tend to pay more attention on other parts of my body more than others I know that's bad but then it's surely to improve but then we are scrubbing I hope you guys are enjoying the shower routine so far
So right now we is done with the scrub. So I'm just rinsing off any um, excess. Not with the scrub. We are done just scrubbing our bodies with the shower gel. I'm just rinsing off any excess shower gel that might be in my body to give um, the scrub or the mask a chance so we can see some improvement, you know. You wouldn't want to mix products. Just make sure that you rinse everything off if you start with, um, with your shower gel. Because I know sometimes I start with the scrub and then with the shower gel. But then I wanted to make this slow and beneficial for you guys. So I literally had to start with the gel and then with the scrub and make sure that we get the best results of this mask and everything. So I'm just rinsing, 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 rinsing it off. I also wanted to add that my skin already looks improved moisturized while it's wet after just using the Dammer uh, moisturizing shower gel from Xanax. So if you feel like your skin needs a little bit of TLC or it's going to get dry because of the weather change, literally that's why I was having dry skin because we are moving to the cold season and my skin tends to dry up. So I rinse everywhere in my body. Onto the mask. It's the I worry. I worry scrub. <laughs> so this is literally my first impression of the scrub. I've never used it before. So when I opened it, it opened it, it was creamy. Um it felt like a mask more than a scrub. As you can see throughout me applying it, I'm gonna realize that um mm, it's not scrubbing like it's supposed to scrub, but it's more like um of a musky but it smells so divine it smells so natural so earthy so herbal it was like it just smells great So me being me, you know what I do, I just apply it aggressively underneath my armpits. Don't mind me talking, I was just having a chat with my sister. So I basically apply it aggressively under my armpits and I go, obviously I was enjoying it. I felt like a warrior, I was like, oh my god, I felt like a warrior. Like I looked, I looked so hot with the mask on, like I was like, girl, you is sexy. Like you is, like you, you should be in a movie. <laughs> I'm so sorry off topic so the mask felt good my skin already felt moisturized I wanted to keep it a little bit more I was just posing taking pictures for the thumbnails and everything trying to get the best aesthetic pictures for you guys <laughs> So that's me being posy posy and then um, I'll continue just rubbing it and just getting the best benefits of the body mask slash scrub. I'm going to repeat this. It wasn't scrubbing like mostly how other scrubs were but then um, I did see a difference this morning because I'm editing the video after that but I did see a difference on my skin and I felt the difference on my skin. I felt like anything that was um, it's rough I don't know how to say rough in English like rough was smoothened out so I applied it um, on the bottom on my torso and everything while well, just um, looking at myself on the um, monitor and making sure that everything is showing up well and I got some on my nose I was actually enjoying this process like I've never used a body mask before so this was um, kind of foreign to me and I kind of liked how it felt and I liked how I looked I felt like I, no I liked how I looked with the mask more than anything <laughs>
like I did with the shower gel I start from the top and then we at the bottom so I'm, I'm applying it at the bottom on my legs of course also my favorite part of my body I love my skinny legs I love how juicy and yeah yeah not yeah 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 so <laughs> Anyway, um, I felt like I was giving my body like a whole spa day treatment. You know, even at the spa, I don't think that they can love the skin that the, like the way that you would love your skin. Because you know where you need extra TLC, extra love and care, your problematic areas. And I felt like I did, I did, um, I, like I did my skin a favor by getting this mask or a scrub. Because I thought it was a scrub, but it, it was good for me. So I also apply the mask in between my toes because like pretty feet gang gang I love wearing open toe sandals and all the time I like about looking at my feet and stuff I feel like my feet can improve from what they look like and I'm gonna be going on a journey on loving my feet so what I'm doing I'm just washing off the scrub because I've been in a shower for long like it was for a minute plus I'm filming because you know when you're filming it kind of takes a while as I was about to say that um, I find my shower routines therapeutic to me they give me motivation to do better in um, in cases like loving myself and wanting the best for myself so sometimes when I put out this type of videos it's not like some type of seduction or anything I feel like I want to motivate others into into the journey of self-love you know it only starts with the little thing is like putting on lipstick um, doing your hair you know some little things like that once you love yourself baby baby everything else is noise like what you can achieve is just limitless if you look good you smell good it's it's the engine to your success to your happiness so I'm basically done preaching <laughs> what I'm doing now is just rinsing off um, any mask that might be left over but then um, that's not a problem you don't have to like aggressively try to remove the mask from your body because after this you will have to scrub um, that's literally the tip I can give you to smell good without using any perfume just get in the shower scrub everywhere after scrubbing make sure that you use a scrub you can scrub everywhere but make sure that you use a scrub or you can use your shower gel to scrub and aggressively target the areas that you feel that might um, smell or anything like that with your loofer your African net, your rock, because rocks are like a great way to get smooth skin. So I'm going in with my rejuvenating likes um, shower gel. I love this shower gel. Just it just reminds me of summer. It's uh, it has honeysuckle. I'm not sure what the other thing smells, but then it it's just golden. It just makes me feel like ooh, I'm gonna have that golden glow after this. Like it makes me believe it. Like when you see it, you believe it. And then the power that you have in your mind is so endless, baby. Like when you see it, it actually starts happening. Like my skin is golden nowadays because of this rejuvenation. Guys, don't believe me. I, I manifest too much and I believe in myself a lot. And that's all I love. So basically what I'm doing, I'm just scrubbing um, with my loofer. Not with a scrub, I'm just I'm using my loofah to just rinse everything off. Make sure that any excess mask, any excess that might be left over that I missed from the beginning is just off to leave my skin smooth, succulent and smelling mm, divine. So I'm going to continue scrubbing um, the rest of my body. I'm not going to show you the bottom because you've seen it before. It's basically top to bottom. So I'm just gonna rinse everything off um, and just like um, relax, unwind, take a break from all the work that I have been doing up and down, scrubbing, uh, uh, masking and all that because like it could be exhausting, I don't want to lie, it could be exhausting but after you take this longest shower, everything which is, it, it's gonna be worth it, it's gonna feel great. I have not included my feminine hygiene here because I feel like it's personal to um, everybody else but I'm just gonna share it for my hoo-ha <laughs> oh god I'm sorry to whomever is um, using headsets so for my hoo-ha I use water 
if i feel like everything is getting funky down there i literally um use gynagrad but then water is the best way to keep your um ph balance it's the best way to keep you smelling fresh to ignore to to stop your body from relying on chemicals that's just like that's just the private area so i i prefer not to use any chemicals down there and water has been working well if you feel like you are struggling finding the right intimate hoo-ha wash i tell you water for your coochie like it, it can take some time for your coochie to for your ph balance to to get to balance out but when time goes by trust me when time goes by trust me it's gonna be the best you're gonna you're not even gonna smell it like it's it's gonna be so it's gonna be roses and sunshine <laughs> that's a dream but then like you know closest to roses and sunshine so basically i'm rinsing off and i'm about to be done So moisturizing so i'm using the vaseline vaseline intensive care um i've used it before i've been using it for a while it's great for skin moisturizing and my trick to smelling good as i've told you guys when you are wet apply your body moisturizer your body cream your body butter it helps the skin absorb the moisture and every ingredient all those good ingredients that you want from your products it's gonna get absorbed onto your skin trust me this is scientific I've tested it I've proven it I'm your lab rat do it do it do it <laughs> Hey my Daisy, so I'm done with everything. Um just wanted to show you guys the deodorant part that um keeps the scent and the smell going. I had a face skincare. I had a skincare malfunction with my face. So I used different serums to work on my skin to target the problematic areas that I suffer from, like with my skin. So I use my pigmentation. I started with my salicystic toner. So I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but then, yeah. So I started with my salicystic toner. I'm not, I was supposed to use hyaluronic and my 2% alpha arbutine um, serum, like two, both of them, and then uh, moisturize and everything. So I'm rushing to get back to finish filming for you guys. I start with the salicystic toner. So the bottles look the same, not necessarily the same, but then it's the same. So I start with my salicystic toner. Oh, I'm fine. I'm enjoying it. Um, fine. I'm about to do a moussaka ola. So it's fine and everything. And then next, instead of going in with the hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid, um, did I not use my pigment buster? And I'm not supposed to mix it with the salicystic toner. So I just ran to go wash my face. Something hit me while I was doing it. I'm like, hmm, wait, what is it? 
so I had to go wash my face and thoroughly like scrub it, scrub my neck and then come back and redo everything because the face is super important but fine the face is moisturized and it looks dewy I'm gonna talk about everything like literally when I do my um face skincare but my face looks dewy now I used um the glow guardian so this one just like it finishes, it protects you from the environment, from blue light. Like if you've, after you're done with your skincare and everything, just spritz this and then it leaves your skin. It's glowing like, it's supposed to give you glass skin. So as you guys know, I prefer my Nivea. So this is the Nivea a Fresh Energy Antiperspirant. Antiperspirant. It's 48 hour protection, but uh, I don't know, I've never tested it by trying not bathing for 48 hours so it is what it is so that's what I use for my deodorant which is great fine I was supposed to show you guys I was supposed to put that but then the face malfunction and everything so the target areas that you're supposed to go for so that you can um, harness your perfume or the smell um, it's at the bottom of your neck so I'm applying Vaseline to make sure that the scent sticks out throughout the day oh this smells amazing like it smells fresh so i just put it at the here like, cock, cock, cock. i'm not sure what they call it but then there's an end there's something and then inside your elbows so here i'm also putting on the facility so that um the perfume lasts longer and i smell fresh throughout the day and then of course on the wrist the rest are like other are great focal points. I feel like everybody knows that. And then the other part is at the back of my um my elbows. So I'm also doing the same, putting on the Vaseline at the back of the elbows. Is it elbows? No, knees. The back of the knees, guys. English is not my mother's tongue, so don't foot foot nonsense me. <laughs> so yeah, so at the back of the knees. So the back of the knees is also a very important focal point. And of course the hair and we're not going to apply it closer. I'm trying to... Okay, so fine. So this is a Jo Malone London. It's the Cypress and Grapevine. So it's the Cologne. It's little. It came in a pack of so. So it came in a pack of so I think it's a thousand and something I don't remember so every each and every one it was one two three four five so it had all the different Jo Malone um, scents that you can think of and I felt like it was a bargain because I got to experience all of them now I know which one I like Tonka is my favorite and it's already done <laughs> so we'll be going back to go get this box so it comes with the box like this and then you get little ones like this that you can also travel with and then carry um, them on your purse so I already have it here I kind of like tap but then I'm still gonna here and then my wrist here and then now I'm doing the back of my knees Ooh, got it correct the back of the knees so I'm doing the back of the knees and um, kind of like bring my hair down so that when somebody gets close or hugs me that I smell the scent so I just do a little on my hair so getting perfume on your hair is like <laughs> the the trick it's the trick to get you like a sense like when you about to walk in people can smell you they're like ooh, here comes tans like ooh, here comes this girl so yeah so the best trick I can tell you it's um putting um, fragrance on your hair Chanel literally has a hair fragrance the body shop also has a hair fragrance so you can go get yourself a body and hair fragrance so we are done with everything <laughs> I feel like we are done with everything so I'm about to go get dressed eat I haven't eaten like the things I do for the content because I want to grow and I'd like to thank the you guys like the new ones the old ones oh my god the old ones you guys um are the reason why i keep going like I, I i do hit off like a snag like where i get so sluggish and i feel like i'm so tired i don't want to pause why am i posting i'm not growing and then i do hit off like i feel like i'm like a graph and then there's I have my high points and my low points and then um, to, in order to bring me to my high points 
I feel like doing uh, my content literally just takes me to the high point. So I'm gonna cool Donibana next time with my hand tabulars and I promise we are back to being doing what we love. I'm at my high point, no more down points, so we're just gonna go high 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 from now on. So thank you so much. I'll see you next week. Tell me what you would like to see. Would you like to see a detailed skincare? How do I keep my skin glowy? How do I keep it, you know, mm, yeah, yeah. So I've been getting a little bit of breakout. So we'll talk about that on the next video. Bye.